Hello, I'm your host, Jonathan Miller, and today I'm joined by Ram Mukunda, CEO of IGC Pharma, ticker symbol IGC on the New York Stock Exchange. Ram, thank you so much for joining us here today. Jonathan, thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. So you're a biotechnology company. Why don't you tell our audience a little bit more about what you do? Yes, we are a biotechnology company. We're located in Maryland, so we're on the East Coast. We, are, uh, we have two molecules in the Alzheimer's space, and our most advanced molecule is in phase 2b trials so this is a trial where we're trying to prove efficacy so we've already gone through safety we've already gone through the tolerability and during our trial the phase one trial we discovered signals that show that our uh, our molecule or our medication can actually help patients suffering from alzheimer's and it can help control some of the symptoms such as agitation, anxiety, depression, and a lot of the other neuropsychiatric symptoms. So this is a medication that's aimed at managing the disease. It's very important work. And what have some of the company's competitive advantages or key strategies been to your success? Well, this is a space, it's very interesting you ask that question. If you look at all of the trials that are being run today, 94% of the trials, or 93, 94% of the trials are actually aimed at, the, at targeting the disease itself. And only about 6 to 7% of the trials are targeting neuropsychiatric symptoms associated with Alzheimer's. And about 76% of individuals with Alzheimer's actually have these symptoms. So these uh, symptoms such as agitation and anxiety are primary drivers of what separates families. For example, individuals with Alzheimer's become very difficult to take care of because of these symptoms. And so they have to be admitted to a nursing home. Yeah. So it causes separation, causes a lot of anxiety, even on the caregivers. And in the U.S., we're expected to spend about a trillion dollars on Alzheimer's and associated other dementias. So it's a massive burden on the healthcare system. And we're hoping to be part of that, part of the solution where we, our drug can hopefully keep families together longer. And that's our, that's our primary end. It's a, it's a very sad disease. And, uh, you know, how did you get involved in this work? What's your background? Well, I have a um, engineering background. My uh, primary degrees are in uh, electrical engineering. So I did biomedical engineering. And in about, two, at about I think 2014, we started looking at this space. And the reason we got into this is an interesting story. One of our advisors who knows the work that we do introduced us to a professor at the University of South Florida. Oh, well, great and knowledge. he had been working on this. So we ended up acquiring the rights to all that work. And that's how we got into this. Fantastic. And what have some of your key growth drivers been for the business? Well, the primary growth driver be apart from the Alzheimer's that we're working on, we also have a line of over-the-counter products. Uh, it's called Holif, and it's a uh, essentially these are products that are aimed at women that are suffering from PMS, that get a uh, sleep disorder, um, and it's a general wellness. So that's something that's driving growth in terms of revenue. The sale of those products. In addition to revenue, how else do you measure your successes? What are some of your key performance indicators? Well, our biggest one, of course, is going to be data that comes out of our phase two trial. And we're hoping to get good data in the January to March of next year. We're hoping to get this trial done and the trial data. And that's going to be a very significant growth driver for us. Fantastic. And what's the company's capital allocation strategy look like? Are you looking at M&As? Uh, are you reinvesting into R&D? We're reinvesting everything into R&D. Uh, it's essentially our primary strategy is to get this drug to market. Absolutely. It's a very important work, as I mentioned earlier. Thank you. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to share with investors? No, you've asked all the key questions. Fantastic. Yes. Um, so thank you very much for joining thank us you. here today. Ram Makunda, CEO of IGC Pharma. Thank you. Thank you.